Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Apache Spark for log mining. In this demo, we are going to see how to use Apache Spark application for processing large collection of data. This is going to be a kind of big data operation where you have terabytes of data collected over time and want to look for a particular error message. Something similar to what used for dashboard in normal BI operation. In this demo, I am going to show how to execute this log mining exercise across cluster of uh, across a Spark cluster. It's a kind of theory of operation which we are going to talk about Spark. So we are working with Scala throughout and we'll be using a Scala code here as well. Here is what we got as log mining example in Spark. Let's have a quick walkthrough to this log mining example and, try to and we'll try to understand how it's going to work. So the first line that we have here is well lines equal to sc.txt file and then the path in hdfs. So what it says that take a whole bunch of log file from hdfs and create rdt. Log files that we are going to use here are the text file. So the rdt that going to be created is a collection of a string and it's going to be one element for each line. We are going to call this as base rdd next few line we are going to apply transformation on this base rdd to create other rdd so here is the second line of the code that says val errors equal to lines dot filter starts with error so we have a whole bunch of log files and we are going to filter out messages that have errors in it. So all the warning info messages is going to be discarded and we are just going to filter out error message. So what it does? It takes the base RDD that we created here as lines and applies this transformation to filter out error record and create a new RDD called errors. What interesting here is that nothing especially happens um, uh, till Spark is not running anything yet. So instead, we, we started from base RDD and build a kind of lineage graph. We keep building lineage graph till we get to action. So in the third line, what we are doing here is uh, we are taking all the lines from error RDD and for each element we are going to split it by tab. This is going to give us tuples and tuples in Scala are zero based so R1 is the second column that we are going to get here. Once we get the RDD message we apply another function on this called cache. So that's what you see here message.cache. This, this particular line is going to keep this RDD in memory. Going down further, we have got error message and we are going to filter MySQL and PHP error messages and we are going to count it. So we are going to look number of errors related to MySQL and PHP. So let's have a look how this is going to be run, going to run in a Spark enabled cluster. So we are going to start the Spark shell here. And which in terms is going to start the Spark context and Spark driver. So Spark context is going to be created when you run a Spark shell, which internally enables you how to access a Spark cluster. So if we have a cluster with three nodes and we are going to submit a 
code of driver and then a driver is going to communicate with the worker. So here we can see uh, we have got a Spark context that has been created. So now let's go ahead and start a log processing application that we have here. So the first line we are going to read this base RDD. So I'm going to clean the screen here and I'm going to go to paste this code. So the first uh, line of code that we have written here, it's going to read the data from HDFS and then it's going to create the base RDD. Now in the second line, we are going to filter out the records that are error messages. Next, what we are interested in to pull out all the records that have error message as MySQL or PHP. So here is what we are going to do to count how many such error messages we have which is related to MySQL. Right? So we have two error messages which is related to MySQL. Next we are going to see how many error records we have for PHP. And here is one. Now let's try to validate this with the log message that we did here. So this is the message that we read. So we had one PHP and that's what it's marked as error. Similarly, we had one MySQL and here is another instance. So this is what it got reported earlier with two instances of MySQL. This was a quick and easy way to process large amount of the data using a simple big data application using Spark. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video.